everybody. So finally I'm back with the last video I told you I would do. Um, in the little teaser that you see a caterpillar. And that caterpillar is the caterp caterpillar from a monarch butterfly. Um, they start off much smaller than that, but I couldn't find any small ones. And they only live on one certain kind of plant called milkweed. So here we see the little guy crawling along on his plant and munching away. And so I don't know if you've heard before, but there's a lot of similarities between butterflies and when we follow God. Um, we'll talk more about that as it comes along. But here you see him. Actually, it was a she. Um munching on her leaf and the nice sun and I brought the leaves back in it's crawling around having a good time so you may know already that butterflies or caterpillars have to go into a cocoon and then they turn into a butterfly after that so in the cocoon it's not just that they're like a full caterpillar inside but they actually turn into mush here's a monarch butterfly cocoon they're really pretty. You can't really see it here, but there's bright gold, like shiny gold on there. And it's crazy because there's none of that gold on a butterfly or on the caterpillar. But eventually it does that. And yeah, as I was saying, they become complete mush and it's basically like a smoothie inside. Just all caterpillar. And they sit there for a while and I don't know exactly everything that goes on inside. Here, the lighting is a bit bad, but you can see it's turn black you can almost see a hint of the wings underneath that means that it's going to come out soon so it was like that for about a day and then soon we will see what came out of it there's still the shiny gold dots but anyway it went from being mush inside to this butterfly and she is pretty. That's right after she came out. You can still see the bit of cocoon that is left. And it's not the same. Flapping those beautiful wings. It's looking at the wings. You can tell whether it's a male or a female. I won't explain that all right now. You can look it up if you want to. But yeah, here is a beautiful monarch butterfly. Ready to go. I'll soon bring her back outside. So she can be free. It's important if you have one ever at home and it's starting to come out of the cocoon that you don't touch it or help it. Because as it struggles and pushes its way out, then the wings get stronger. And one time, the first time we hatched some, we touched the wings and they ended up being bent and then it could never fly. And it just died. Which was sad. But here she goes outside, ready to face the world. There's my front door. ready to go face the world. I'll put her on a Cleom flower. There she is beautiful butterfly. You wouldn't have pictured a beautiful orange and black butterfly looking at the green and black and yellow and white caterpillar. But yeah, this is what happens as we follow God. Um, I don't know if you've had this, but it feels like sometimes the more I spend time with God, the more I get to know him, the more I realize just how crazy messed up I am. Um, like I realize how much sin there is in my life and how wrong I am. And everything I've done wrong and that's really discouraging sometimes and as we follow God then he does show us those things more and more so that we can grow and we can change and just like the butterfly has to be or a caterpillar has to become soup to turn into what it's really made to be and to turn into a butterfly um, as we follow God sometimes we have to go through hard stuff and we have to figure and work with God and Go through times where it's difficult and he shows us stuff and we need to keep seeking him. 
but eventually he will grow us into what he wants us to be. And in heaven, then we will be free. And we don't have to worry about, um, you yeah, know, then we can fly and we can fly and be free with God. And he gives us strength. And so I hope that's an encouragement. Um, know that we're all struggling and we're all working to do, do what is right. And God is working in us, especially if you notice your own sin and what's wrong in your life. And that means that God is working in you and that he's showing you that and he's convicting you. So he's not, he hasn't given up on you and he loves you.